Hi, I'm Laura Verley, and I inspire advisors to kill it online through social media and offline through relationship management. Imagine having access to a digital Rolodex stuffed with business leads. Maybe you want to talk to business owners within a 25 mile radius of you with 100 employees or more. Perhaps your top prospects are C level executives at pharmaceutical companies. Maybe you want to connect with the head of human resources at a technology firm. Do you want lists by title, company, industry, geographic location, all the above? Well, now you can have all of that and more through LinkedIn Sales Navigator. LinkedIn Sales Navigator is a game changer. This is where the rubber really, 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 really meets the road. You can actually save all of your searches and LinkedIn will serve up to you, will give you push notifications when someone or some company matches your search criteria. Simply put, LinkedIn gets smarter every time you use it making it easier for you to zero in on the right people at the right companies at the right time. So join me for this sales navigator series where I will take you through the initial LinkedIn setup. Then I will give you a guided tour of the homepage. We'll take a deep dive into the account company pages. And finally, we'll do some advanced searches. So let's get started. Once you've purchased sales navigator, it requires a one-time setup so that it can capture all of your preferences. So you will land on this screen for Sales Navigator. You will click Continue, and then you'll begin to populate the information. Very first screen is, let's start by exploring your existing leads from your LinkedIn network. What I can do is I can bring those in, um, or I can just say simply Continue. Um, I can select a company to import different leads. So let's do one company as an example. What I will do is, Merrill Lynch. I'm just going to search for it this way. If I search for Merrill Lynch, here it is. I click on that. And what it did is it brought in all of my leads. Therefore, I'm going to continue. Next, I need to add companies to the pipeline of possibilities of my business. So let's say, for example, there was four companies here that I really wanted to focus in on. What I simply have to do is click on these positive signs. I want to look at Morgan Stanley, the Oxley Institute, Janus Capital Group, and Gigasabi. Then I'm going to continue. Now it's going to ask me for what types of leads I'm looking for by geographic region. So I'm going to put in Greater New York City, and these are major metropolitan areas. So I'm going to click the positive here. I'm also going to put in Greater Philadelphia. So I'm looking for people in here. Let's say, for example, I'm looking for leads in greater New York City and greater Philadelphia, and that's the only place I'm looking. I put those in and I continue. Next, it's by industry. So you have a list of over 100 industries that you can select from here. I'll select approximately three to five. I wanna look in the accounting industry, the airlines and aviation industry. I also wanna take a look at pharmaceutical. and broadcast media. And finally, I want to zero in on what job functions I traditionally sell to. I sell to accountants, I sell to consultants, I sell to entrepreneurs, as well as finance professionals. It's as simple as that. My initial setup is done and I'm ready to start creating the individuals that I just want to zero in on as well as the companies. So there you have it. Now you know how to set up your account within Sales Navigator. Make sure that you join me for a tour of the homepage in part two of this series and subscribe to me on YouTube so you're alerted as to when my new videos are released. Thanks for joining. Simply put, I forgot. Imagine. <laughs> holdy, holdy, please stand by. Can we take a little pause there?